today we're going to demonstrate a necropsy on a tilapia. We're going to do this for a health examination, uh, just general purpose of health examination, and uh, looking for any signs of uh, illness. The illness may be an infectious agent or it may be due to environmental causes. So we want to look at fish uh, in, in as uh, natural state as possible while they're still alive. You don't want to be doing necropsies on fish that have been dead for a long period of time because the post-mortem changes can mask any infectious processes. As soon as the animal dies, bacteria and other parasites quickly take over. So you want to be uh, sampling a fish that's still alive or at, at the very least moribund. Okay, the first thing we want to do before opening the fish is sterilize the instruments. So we have here a bit of ethanol. So before we open up the fish, we're going to take a look at a little bit of the mucus from the skin. So we prepare a microscope slide for observation later. And also, we want to have a look inside at the gills to see the color of the gills to see if there's any indication of lesions or presence of parasites. Okay. Slide that on. And those we'll look at later by microscopy. The next thing we want to do is sterilize the exterior of the fish. So we put a bit of ethanol, flood the surface well. We want to sterilize this to make sure that once we open the animal, none of the bacteria from outside the fish get inside the fish. So insert the scissors into the vent and open it along the midline ventrally. Here you can see a lot of the body fat, the intestines. And back up in here is the liver. Okay, after we open up the fish, uh, lay out, laying out all of the tissues, you can see the intestine here. There's a, a bit of the liver and the spleen back in here, and up inside along the spine is the kidney. We have a lot of visceral fat as well, and the gonads are here. So we're just going to snip out a little piece of the gonad for conservation in ethanol, in case there's interest in looking at them with uh, histological analysis. the intestine as well.
I have a little piece of the liver. Oops. And then to check for bacteria, we take a sterile cotton swab and run along the, the spine of the fish, collecting tissue from the kidney, and then spread that onto some selective media. For incubation. So after incubating the auger plates for 24 hours, uh, we see a little bit of growth on this plate, but the animal is healthy. That's probably just mild contamination from the air. Um, on another fish that was sampled, the, the gut was nicked and some of the bacteria from the intestine leaked out. And you can see there's quite a lot of bacteria that uh, contaminated the internal uh, portion of the animal. So this is not really a anything serious, that's just a, a bit of contamination from the gut. And as you can see from a, an animal with such a large intestine, it's quite difficult to remove all of that intestine completely intact to sample the kidney without getting a little bit of leakage from the gut. So just to be on the safe side, um, it's good to try and, and keep things as clean as possible. And you can rinse out the body cavity with a little bit of alcohol just prior to cutting through the swim bladder and going into the kidney. And that'll sterilize it a bit further. <laughs>